for you. But first we go off to Hillsborough, Sheffield for Leeds United against Manchester United. A match covered for ITV by Yorkshire Television. And we join their cameras here as the teams come out on a bright and windy afternoon. Two sides were met at this stage in 1965 and 1970. Both times Leeds winning after a replay. A crowd of 55,000 adding enormously to the atmosphere of the occasion. Those are the ones inside with tickets. If they hadn't got a ticket, they had to take to the trees. The Leeds side, Alan Clark passed fit during the week. They, it's a strong and experienced side. Paul Reaney, for example, played in both those previous semi-finals in 65 and 70 against Manchester United. And Peter Lorimer will be their substitute. Manchester United, no problems at all for manager Tommy Doherty. A full-strength side. And, of course, it's virtually the side that took United to the final last season. But there is one important change because a man who's given an added balance as well as penetration to the side in the past few months is in fact Jimmy Greenoff, the striker they bought from Stoke City. He presents quite a danger to Leeds United. And a man who's always a danger is Alan Clark of Leeds, even though he says himself he's not quite 100% fit. Referee Tom Reynolds, formerly of Swansea, now a hotelier in Wiltshire. And now we're all ready for the start. So Manchester United kick off. In red shirts and white shorts attacking the goal to our left. Leeds in their all yellow strip and Wembley awaits the winner the manager of Leeds United Jimmy Armfield saying before the game Wembley now is a carrot dangling before us all we've got to do is eat it well to eat it they've also got to devour a Manchester United side that'll come hard at them with some attacking football and with the knowledge that they came here a year ago and beat Derby County in a semi-final then before losing at Wembley to Southampton here's Alex Stepney Green up well, all two United players, Macari and McElroy going for that same ball. A little back flick there from Gordon Hill that uh, could have caused a bit of damage to that Leeds defender. McElroy then with the throw for Manchester United. Jimmy Green off, back for Sammy McElroy. Pearson waiting in the middle on the far side is Koppel, but headed away there well. For Leeds United by Peter Hampton. Clark, a very competitive element in this game already. Cherry into the space for Curry. Reaney making one of his famous overlaps. And there it is, beautifully weighted for him. Down, no, it's not. Reaney couldn't quite get it, just played a little too firmly there by Curry. Great player, Paul Reaney, played in the 1965 semi-final against Manchester United and in 1970. Clark, played on again for Curry, looking promising this for Leeds, McElroy desperate to get back forcing Curry away and doing well but a throw then oh there's a little bit of flick up there between uh, Reaney and Hill as the nerves and the tension begin to show so here's Stepney Pearson. Very difficult indeed for players to judge the ball in this gusty wind. Topple. And the two Greys are after him. Frankie and uh, Eddie. And a throw to Manchester United. Black clouds over the hills above Sheffield. And uh, judging by the flags, the wind is bringing them this way. Koppel and a corner first one of the game so Hill with this corner as Leeds organise themselves in their penalty area on the wind a back header by Houston and Jimmy Green up wanted with eight minutes gone there's the corner from Gordon Hill Houston's beautiful back header a missed kick there 
and the number eight Jimmy Greenoff. 1-0 to Manchester United, eight minutes gone. Frankie Gray's error that put the ball invitingly for Jimmy Greenoff himself, a former Leeds United player. Well, a tremendous start for United. Leeds, a team of uh, enormous character and capable normally of soaking up all the punishment that can be thrown at them. They'll have to soak up a lot now, but what is more important, they've got to come out and create chances themselves. Here's Houston, whose back flick from that hill corner really opened the way. Greenoff to Hill. And back it goes from Bucken to Stepney. in there, Makari, Pearson, handball, good decision, the long kick from Mailey, the win there, Frankie Gray right in there, Clark right in there, go kick, The long free kick there from Maidley. Joe Jordan winning a good ball in the air. And Clark over the top. Hard work for Alex Stepney hitting it against the wind as strong as it is here. Just over the halfway line, McQueen winning it well in the air. Here's Jordan. McElroy to Hill. Houston. McQueen is there, taking no chances. Brian Greenoff. Macari. Crowd enjoying that. At least the Manchester United area is. Throw to Man United. Green off. Hill planted high and hopefully forward. Oh, that time Pearson won it in the air. And it might come now for Koppel. That's the second one. A brilliant goal for Manchester United. Stevie Koppel. What a start. 15 minutes of a semi-final when you're all knotted up with nerves. There's nothing better than two goals in the first 15 minutes to make you forget them. Pearson winning that well in the air from McQueen. And as it comes through here to Koppel, that's 2-0. It might go a long way towards killing the cup tie as well. It's going to take an awful lot for Leeds to pull this back now. Well, they're the silent men from Yorkshire. Their side two down. Pearson's header. McQueen, Frank Gray, Curry, Clark, Eddie Gray. Played on for Alan Clark. Now this is a chance for Leeds. Oh, and Clark of all people missed it. He usually has those for breakfast and really needs needed that so very badly. Straight through, under pressure from Brian Greenoff and Stepney coming out, a whisker wide. Well, two United defenders went for that and here's Eddie.
Lady Grey. Nicole getting in a bit of a tangle there, and Grey with a little chip. Can Jordan get in there for that one? He can't, but can Curry? Oh. Well, that all stemmed from a fault by Jimmy Nicol on the far side. And Curry, in the end, very nearly made him pay for it. Just look at the muddle here. And it's Nickel who loses it to Eddie Gray. Delightful chip by Gray. Jordan menacing at the far post. It comes out and Curry has to hit it from an angle that proves impossible. Rain coming down really heavily now into the faces of Manchester United. But they really haven't a care in the world. Pearson, Koppel, flicked on again this time for Makari. McQueen right there, and somehow Makari got it back well. Hill, oh, and Stewart had to get down. The virtue of never feeling that the ball is out of play until it finally crosses the line. And that was a beautiful example there of Makari. That looked odds on going over the line, but he hooks it back and Leeds are vulnerable until Stewart saves from Hill. Leeds trying so hard now to find some way back into this game. Stopped there by Jimmy Nicol. Beaten Walsall, Queen's Park Rangers, Southampton and Villa of Manchester United on the way to this final. And now well on the way to beating Leeds. Ray having his shot charged down by Makari, they're getting out so quickly and uh, Nickel in fact being fouled there by Tony Curry. Curry being called to Tom Reynolds and a yellow card coming out. Yellow card. being forced back there by uh, Peter Hampton Nickel forward Gray right back there McClary pounding after him eleven minutes to go to half time Bailey to Cherry it's Curry Bailey again. Curry lifting it high there again towards Jordan. Well, Koppel only kept that in for the benefit of Frank Gray and Leeds United. Here's Hampton with the cross. Cherry didn't get a header to it, but uh, Curry did. Now will it come for Eddie Gray? Hit that well as he had to first time, but it was always going over. Long free kick, Curry's header, and it'll come through now there for Eddie Gray. A chance he had to take with the ball high and quickly. Green off. Curry down as Leeds take it up. with a throw Clark a touch for Eddie Gray on to the right foot and Buchan well I think his heart was a flutter there that easily uh, a slight mistiming and that would have gone into the back of the net but the man at the heart of the United defence knew just what he was doing so it's a corner for Leeds
anxiety can be seen there as Frankie Gray takes this corner for lead. Stepney just getting a fist to it in spite of Gordon McQueen right in front of him. And that's another corner. Well, there'll just about be time to take it and not much more. Curry curling it in again. The backhead of Clark. McQueen right in there. And Cherry right in there. Oh, and it was put behind by McQueen. And that was a golden chance again for Leeds United on the stroke of half-time. The corner, and just watch the back flick here by Alan Clark. The chance falls for Trevor Cherry here. And when that's charged down by Buck and it falls to McQueen, but it's past the United post. So it stays at 2-0 to United. Here's Gordon Hill. Pearson. Which suggests that although United have done a tremendous job and the lead is deserved, that if Leeds can just snatch something and get that tremendous psychological uplift, this semi-final is anything but over. As the whistle goes for half-time, the cheers from the Manchester United fans. You saw Steve Coppola a moment there and scored the uh, second goal for United. There's Jimmy Greenoff who got the first. Two of the goals that came in the first 16 minutes of the game. But still, uppermost in a lot of Leeds fans' mind will be that miss by Alan Clark when he was right through just after it that could in fact yet be the most important moment of this FA Cup semi-final at Hillsborough. A lot to come still on this special cup tie edition of the big match today. A half-time score then at Hillsborough. Leeds United nil, Manchester United two. We'll be right back for that second half. Welcome back then to Hillsborough where it's windy and wildly exciting and Manchester United 2-0 up. And Man United but now with the wind at their back. The side that have twice beaten Leeds United in the league this season. And with Tommy Doherty, the Manchester United manager, having a birthday tomorrow, it's uh, a good weekend for them to celebrate. Certainly uh, the virtues that they've shown in the first half, one of hustling and chasing and running and never allowing Leeds United to get fully into their stride, have paid off. They've really worked for their lead, but here are Leeds with a corner and Pearson right back there to get it away. A queen hopeful and uh, way off the target Pearson beautiful head work again there by Pearson here's Koppel Pearson charging on ahead of him Pearson played wide for Nickel making another good run played in lower this time and Pearson couldn't quite adjust enough to uh, turn back and Leeds can't get it away yet now Frank Gray should be able to do it for them. Bucken. Oh, he was impeded there by Jordan. Knew just what he wanted to do. Nicol finding Stuart Pearson. Jimmy Greenhouse waiting in the middle. And so too was David Stewart. Pearson looking so lively. Some brilliant work he's uh, getting through in the middle of the field. With his little headers and his touch-ons. And this time rounding McQueen. And a good piece of goalkeeping by Stewart. Cherry, but straight for Houston. Jimmy Greenoff, beautiful ball played for Sammy McElroy. Pearson's waiting in the middle. He tried to turn it back for Koppel. And Cherry had done a beautiful shadowing job on Koppel. They just cannot get it away. United coming at him again. McElroy once more. Now Hill. There's the cross coming in, Rini away for Leeds. What of an hour, second half gone. And no break in the onslaught yet for Leeds United. McElroy turning it back to Jimmy Greenoff. Houston blasting it, deflected, and it finally came through to Stewart. Could so easily have been number three. Played back nicely there by Jimmy Greenoff. The blast by Stuart Houston. The deflection. And in the end, Koppel couldn't quite get a touch. Alan Clark for Leeds. 
Played into the path of Cherry. Interesting. Two against two. Jordan is the other one, and here he is. Now, if he can get past Nickel, just look how cool. Penalty! Penalty! Nickel has brought down Jordan and Leeds now have a chance. This is the incident. Jordan getting past Jimmy Nickel. And that's what brought about the penalty, bringing him down. And now Alan Clark, who scored from the penalty spot last Saturday against Ipswich, now has one of the most important kicks of his career. I remember a World Cup penalty he scored for England in uh, Mexico and against Poland at Wembley. A cool head, a sure shot, and sure leads needed now, and they've got it 2-1. Alan Clark has brought this game really back to life. Stephanie, a left hand, despairingly touching it, but he couldn't stop it going into the net. And from a moment or two ago, with Manchester United pressing them back, Leeds look to be out for the count, but now they've got it all back. 1-2 down. And with a chance now to uh, really make Manchester United and their huge army of fans worry in the 22 minutes that remain. That's the incident. And a free kick already taken. Nicol. Hill ducking in low. McQueen. Man United bringing everybody back. And Cl Curry is onside. But Stepney there a fraction before him. But uh, they still haven't got it away. And the ball not out of play. Curry for Leeds. it's going to be a throw to Manchester United Leeds, 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 Leeds and not so much noise now coming from Manchester United Koppel being told to hurry along that throw Pearson, Makari, and how United, Manchester United it is, must be grateful for that marvellous start. Hill, Green off, and Rini, oh he missed his chance, Hill and Stewart was down. Hill didn't really uh, clobber that in the way that he wanted to, unlike Paul Reaney to make a mistake like this. A nice one-two play between Hill and Jimmy Greenoff. Reaney completely misses it, and Stewart saves him. Hill versus Reaney. McElroy. Stewart bounced very awkwardly in front of him and there were three Manchester United players within two yards of him and he fumbled it for just a moment this is a shot by McElroy just look at that bounce just in front of him and look at those United players waiting for the slightest mistake Houston being told by Stepney to get it away. Clark was a little too close for comfort, but he's only got it away as far as Tony Curry. Now can Curry engineer something here? He can! A great shot just over. Well, these little chances are coming Lee's way, and it's not over by any means yet. This powerful man with a powerful shot, and the midfield trickery to go with it. Getting a yard, but finding it also a yard too high. 
bringing on their substitute Peter Lorimer the man with an even more powerful shot of course and Frank Gray coming off Space ahead of him. McQueen, Hill. Interesting ball because Pearson can get to it. Closing in on McQueen. Leeds getting men back. There's Pearson with a shot. Oh, and he had to fist that away. No penalty. Pearson back for Koppel. Whistle gone, free kick to Leeds. Tremendous shot there by Pearson. And the goalkeeper making himself big as David uh, Stewart did there. Just to punch that away, get it away anywhere, give himself some breathing space. A nudge in the back on Hill, not given as a penalty. And the whistle went for that push there. Free kick to Leeds. He's blown the whistle, he's going across to have a word with McElroy and he's going to give McElroy the yellow card for time wasting when he can find his pencil. Sammy McElroy looks very displeased about it, but uh, in the last minutes of a tense semi final like this, when you're hanging on to a 2 1 lead, it's right that the referee ensures that the game is. Uh, allowed to go very quickly from those dead ball uh, situations. McElroy again with a throw and he took it a lot quicker that time you'll notice. Here's Jimmy Greenoff. Back to McElroy again. Well, is this the moment? No, it's not. Stewart's there. And a quick throw is going to release Peter Hampton. Here's the slow motion of it. Straight to Stewart. And those victory chants are beginning to build amongst the mass of Manchester United fans now. The red and white scarves are being twirled. The banners are being waved. And the Leeds fans are getting ready to accept defeat. a throw to Leeds we're into injury time and any time that Tom Reynolds has had it on uh, for time wasting a throw for Leeds and maybe the chance to fling one last desperate attack at Manchester United here's Lorimer play on says the referee here's McQueen who's come up and United have brought them all back determined to concede nothing check with both linesmen and United as they built that ball into the stand Steve Koppel are a matter of seconds away from the final those two goals in that opening 16 minutes have done it for them hard though leads have come at them in this second half but here's Eddie Gray it's a throw from Brian Greenoff so leads with a throw Curry with a long throw. Clark trying to get the header in. It'll come for Cherry, who's hit it too high. And falls to the ground in the agony of that moment that might have saved everything for Leeds. A long throw, and there it comes out for Cherry. Slips and it goes over the top. Referee's done well, and really he's just really got one more job to do, and that's to blow the final whistle. But here's Koppel now for Manchester United. 
they'll want to keep the ball at that end of the field a throw to Leeds Cherry with it to Lorimer time added on for injuries and time wasting now amounts to two minutes Lorimer takes it up again for Leeds the long ball if Gray can get to it but it's getting away from him and that could well be the last chance and it is Manchester United are through to Wembley for the second successive year their players embrace each other as you look at the delighted Manchester United fans scenes of joy from the men in red who worked and worked and worked to build that winning lead in the first half and saw it whittled away by the penalty in the second and had one or two moments that scared them but a look at those scenes of joy from United who badly want to uh, repair the damage to their pride and make it up for their fans for that defeat in the final last year now they've got that chance with the goals coming from Jimmy Greenoff and Steve Koppel in the first 16 minutes and Alan Clark from the penalty spot for Leeds in the second half as they go off the field Leeds 1, Manchester United 2 that is the score in this semi-final at Hillsborough